Ow. Ow. Ah! I'm caught between a bad thing and a another bad thing. Oh look, an egg. Hi, and welcome to the Paleocast Gaming Network. I'm Aubrey, and today we're going to be playing Ark Survival Evolved. Ark Survival Evolved is one of my favourite games. I've been playing it for a long time, even before its actual release in 2017. I have quite a few hours in this game, both sort of in PvP and PvE, and just sort of playing around on my own. So I'm going to take you on a journey throughout Ark. Um, now to start off with, we're going to just sort of get to grips with the basic game and try and understand what is going on. So Ark is basically an open world survival sandbox, which means that there's a massive world that you can run around in and interact with and you can build stuff. Uh, and obviously the aim is to survive. But there is also um, a sort of a storyline to Ark as well, but it is hidden and you actually have to want to go and try and find out more of it. So we'll just start off game. So this is a local game here and there are many different settings that you can change to sort of uh, change the difficulty of the game um, or the speed of the game. Because Ark is very well known for its grind, like it takes a lot of time to sort of collect resources and build what you want to do. But you can up sort of the amount of resources you get and taming and sort of take down taming time so that you don't have to deal with the grind as much. Okay, so we will give this a go. So, I'll wake up on a beach. Oh no, right in the middle of a danger, danger animal. That's a peg mastix. Oh, it's gonna try and steal stuff from me. Let's punch it out. Yeah. Huh? Don't mess with me. Right. So, I do absolutely adore the graphics of this game. Now, my graphics card isn't the best. What in the world was that? Ah! Oh, it's, it's a little Diplocalus. Oh, I love these guys. Oh, look how cute he is. to tame one of those they're so cute i must have scared him a little bit okay so i absolutely love the graphics of this game it is beautiful i mean look at it the water is lovely the sort of the different forest textures all sorts it is beautiful oh that's that's danger 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 Let's try and... I'm not going to be able to outswim this. This is... This is going to go bad. Yep, here it comes. Just gotta leg it. I really don't like the swamps. They are danger, danger. Oh dear. Oh dear. Everything's trying to kill me. So this is typical arc. Everything wants you dead, basically. Okay, I think we're out of the woods or the mangrove swamps, uh, which is probably one of the deadliest places in arc. Um, Okay, so we woke on a, up on a beach. Now, what is sort of standard for Ark is, especially when you're playing with other people, is that you obviously wake up in the middle of the nowhere and you have to try find your friends. But unfortunately, the island is huge. Now, there are different spawning areas. And luckily, I managed to spawn pretty close to my base that I built. Ta-da! Okay, so let's talk about some of the, like, I guess, starter um, animals that you can tame in Ark. And one of the best ones is 
have caused the Triceratops. Although I'm not sure how accurate this guy is. Um, I mean, so what I've noticed about a lot of arc animals is that they have a tendency to have lots of extra horns and spikes and uh, claws and teeth uh, than they are meant to have, such as this Triceratops, aka the trike in arc language. Um, has lots of extra little spikes that, yeah. However, these guys are pretty um, easy to tame. And how we do it, well, I will go and get some stuff and we can see if we can tame up this guy. All right, so we'll we'll try and tame this trike. So a lot of the animals in Ark have sort of, there are different taming strategies you can do to tame them. But most of them is you knock them out with a tranquilizer dart and then force feed them or feed them. Okay, so, oh dear, I'm getting attacked by multiple things. Oh, danger. I hope I don't kill this thing by accident. It's kind of like a pin cushion at the moment. Poor thing. There we go. Oh no, no, bad, 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 bad. Go, 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 go. There we go. All right. We've downed a Triceratops. He's asleep. Oh, look at him. So all of the animals in Ark have different stats, similar to sort of your own. Um, and we need to give him some food. So I'm just going to collect some of these berries over here. Now, as, like I said, most of the animals are sort of knockout tames, but there are some where you actually have to like follow them around and give them food while they're wandering. Some animals you actually can't tame, like trilobites, <laughs> unsurprisingly. So there are sort of three different grades of animals in Ark. There are the passive ones, which will flee if you attack them. Things like dodos and parasols and stuff like that. Um, there's the neutral ones, like the triceratops, which will attack you if you attack it. And then there are the aggressive ones like those raptors that you see in the distance over there. They will attack you on sight if they see you. So here's the trike uh, we just tamed. I can't ride him until I've got a saddle on him, but yeah, he will uh, be pretty helpful for us. Now, one thing that is very important to remember with Ark is that the different tames that you can get do different things. And there are some tames that specialize in collecting certain resources and others that help with your defense and so forth. And um, trikes or triceratops are pretty good at getting berries, um, which you need to tame like other herbivores and to eat. And also thatch, which you get from trees, which is useful from, for building. Um, whereas, for example, don't ask me why, ankylosauruses, really good at collecting metal, for example. And then there are xenosaurs over here, really good at collecting fibre. So each sort of animal has its own specialty and its own thing that it kind of does. Um, and we can talk more about this in, in later episodes. Now, there are a few animals in Ark which I absolutely detest the appearance of. And one of these is the raptor. And this is a non-specific raptor, it's just called raptor. Um, and they actually used to look worse before, where they had pretty much no feathers. Now at least they've got some. Um, but yeah, pretty horrible. Pretty skinny, pretty featherless, not great. However, Ark did redeem themselves by the Deinonychus, which has loads of feathers and can actually glide. So that one made me really happy. So I can forgive them for the rubbish raptors. However, um, these are actually really useful early game because they are really speedy. They are obviously pretty good pack hunters, so you can get loads of them. Um, and they're kind of fun just to run around with. They can move really fast and they will help protect you. 
I am apparently dying of something. So another decent tame is one of these guys. Parasaur. Really nice, easy to tame, good thing to get like as your first tame or second tame or whatever. Because um, they can move around, they're quite fast, they can carry quite a lot. Um, however, they do die really easily. So obviously not something that you want to keep for a long time. But I think they're pretty cute. Um, accuracy wise they're not great I mean look at all of these extra spines remember what I said Ark has a tendency to add extra bits on and the neural frill looks pretty awful um, but yeah they're pretty cute these guys hoot which is kind of funny they can actually like work as sort of like a, an alarm and they'll sense when danger is near <laughs> which is kind of funny but one of the most important sort of steps in playing arc is actually gaining flight so taming something that can fly because then you can escape danger easily you are you can get to places a lot faster and safer than going on your own two feet now this is the um pteranodon Looking a bit skinny there with some wing difficulties, but yeah, I mean, these have their own problems. However, I did notice, so there are quite a few different types of pterosaurs, and one of them is one of the large, or the largest pterosaur of the game, the Quetzalcoatlus, actually does do the quadrupedal launch, which is using its hind limbs uh, to lift off, um, which is, yeah kind of based on science so that's kind of fun however not so much with the other ones another great early tame is this guy argentivus really awesome you can carry all sorts of other dinosaurs arc physics is uh yeah has a has a life of its own Now, the weather does vary in different arcs, like in the island it's pretty stable, but in sort of other ones you can get sandstorms and meteor showers and all sorts of stuff that will additionally try to kill you. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a dangerous world out there, but there is an awful lot to explore. Oh look, there's a parasaur. Hey buddy. Okay, so that was a short introduction to arc. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll hopefully go into more details about Ark and the different animals that are in the game um, in later episodes. So thank you very much for watching the Paleocast Gaming Network. I'm Aubrey and see you next time.